Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with file information in their applications. Our viewer is curious about how to mock the file info information for a file without hitting the file system. This is crucial for effective unit testing, especially when using the System.io abstractions library. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember, stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get through that resolution. So, let's continue on. To mock the file info information for a file, we can utilize the system.io.abstractions library. This library allows us to abstract file system operations, making unit testing easier without accessing the actual file system. In your scenario, you need to retrieve properties like creation time, last write time, and file size. Instead of using the file info class directly, we can use the file info base class provided by systembio.abstractions. Here's how you can implement this in your code. Replace the instantiation of file info with file info base by using the file systems from file name method Now you can access the file properties like size and last write time using the file info base instance. This allows you to cleanly mock file information for unit testing. In summary, by using system.io.abstractions abstractions and the file info base, you can effectively mock file information without hitting the file system, making your unit tests reliable and efficient. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To mock file info information, you can use the iFile info interface from System.io abstractions. Create your own implementation to return the specific file stats you want to test. In your initialize method, include a virtual method that returns an iFile info. This allows you to return a fake implementation during testing instead of accessing the real file system. For more details, check out the iFile info interface on GitHub. And that's it. I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.